love you and welcome. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're my pre and subscribers, welcome my baby dinosaurs. And so for today's video, we're going to be covering the Russian hack. And in the next video, we'll be covering Trump's regina regination. But um, I wanted to do these videos earlier, but I was told by my spirit guides and angels that... Um, uh, it wasn't time for me to do the video as I don't have sufficient information to do the video. They told me the specific time to do it, the specific day, not time, but day. And they told me to release it on New Year's Eve. So when you guys are viewing us, Happy New Year's Eve, and I'll see you guys in the next year. And so, without bothering you guys, I just want to say a few things before we do begin. If you guys like my introduction, let me know in the comments below. Um, definitely check out all my social media that do have perks. And what perks mean is that you guys get updated when I get notified, when I post, and when I go live. Uh, you get, like, personal readings, among other things as well. So it's pretty fun. You get to interact with other people who are like-minded with you as well. Um, so I will probably be end up going live with Kim from Interview as well. So stay tuned for that. It may be on my or her channel. Uh, just keep checking for the community page to be notified when I am going to go live. Um... Also, I'll be going live as well today for uh, 2021 personal readings for you guys. Very many, but it's going to be very short live as well. So, it's going to be a lot of activities going on tomorrow, so stay tuned. And just let's send out some white light protection for both Marie's table and our husband Scott. I think both have COVID. And let's send some love to a sense of light. You guys can find the channels in the description below. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right into it. I have a whole bunch of questions here for you that I have written out before this video. If you guys want to know what I'll be covering beforehand, just look in the description below and you can find all the questions that I'll be covering in this video. All right, so... Oh, also for today's date, it is December 30th, and it is 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so, I want to ask the first question. And the first question that we're going to be asking is, why did the Russian hack into the Microsoft emails or software? Let's just see why. Because that puts me and you at risk of having our information stolen. So, I want to know what the motive there. Why did a Russian hack into Microsoft emails and software? Now, please keep in mind, this is just for entertainment purposes only. And if I'm too fast for you, don't get to, you can either rewind, check out the transcript, put on closed captions, whatever you got to do. If you need help, you can ask me as well, or you can slow down the video as well. That That is an option. Okay, so Spirits and Angels, tell me why would a Russian hack into Microsoft emails and software? Can you give me some information on that spirit? Okay, so the first thing I got was when my spirit guys told me. They told me they wanted something to hold over the American people's head. So that's that's what it appears to be like as well. We do have um, in the center, the holding information. Uh, they're just using this as a way of lever leverage so to speak. On the left side we have here, this is via internet. So this would be like the way they would gather information from the internet. So they did hack into the program, but they were kind of like a fool because they did it way too early under, um, uh, right before a Biden presidency. So what it basically feels is that it would have been a smarter move to do this earlier in the Trump presidency so it had less, more of an impact, so to speak. We do have here, they tax more than one department of, um, you know, the USA department. I'm trying to clear out the video, but it's not working, so I apologize for that. What we do have here is 45 at the helm as well. So it does tell me that 45, the President of the United States, is involved in this. But that's just for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so what else? So that's what appears to be like the motive there. Now, how would Biden handle the Russian hack? Like, how would Biden handle Russia, President Biden? Let's just take a look on how he would do uh, the handling of that after they're trying to hack the U.S. intelligence. Why, how would Bi Joe Biden, President Biden, handle the Russian hackings when he goes into office? How would, how would Biden handle it? Okay, so in the past, this was a golden opportunity for the Russian when they elected Trump into power. Well, they really did. They helped him. 
Um, we have here, it's going to be quite a fight. There's going to be some battles, going to be pretty hard to negotiate. And this is on the world stage. So basically the first thing I heard that Biden might be saying is America's back, baby. Or like something like that along those lines. And then we do have here as well, two of the Democrats, they're not going to be on a strong standing because they have some sort of information on the American government that they don't want revealed. So it's going to put them out of stalemate. Handling of Russia, there's going to be a little bit of a stalemate here. But it looks like it's going to, excuse me, it looks like it's going to get handled by a woman. So Kamala Harris may actually be the one to actually squash the Russians. And here the Russians as well. So she may very well be the one to squash it. And because they're going to make a plan. So they may threaten them with something. A tower moment. There you go. So they're going to threaten them with something. And it feels as if Kamala Harris or a woman figure will play a major role in this. So let's ask, why did Trump stay silent during the Russian hacks? I just want to take a, a look at that. Why? And then the next question that we're going to be asking after that is why did Trump blame China to try to divert attention? So there's that as well. All right, so Spirit Angel, tell me why did Trump, Donald Trump, the President of the United States, decide to stay silent? Okay, so the first thing is we have like a card flip here. Okay, so we have this card that flips. All right, why did Trump decide to stay silent? Why did he decide to stay silent with the Russian hacks? Okay, there's quite a lot of information here. Alright, uh, so we have, you know, it's election night, right? He lost, clearly. He lost the election. This is my election card. This is my election card. We have here, there was no avenue. They were trying to gather information on why he lost. So they were trying to almost feel like as if what they're trying to do is they're trying to hack into people's social media to find out if they voted or not. And then whether or not, what party affiliation that they were registered with to determine if the election was stolen without taking the ballot. So a lot of you guys have asked about what the smoke is. It's just instant. I use that because I like the smell of it. And also it helps purify the air and energy. And then it was challenged by the tower card. So, so far, it tells me that no matter if he were to talk about Russia, it would just bring more attention to the Russian hacking in the 2016 election as well. So, Russia won't be going away anytime soon. All right, why did Donald Trump blame Russia, China? Why did Donald Trump blame China for the hacking and not Russia? Okay, so the first card is the challenge is the heart. The betrayal here. We have here... He knows something, knows something that about the election, but it feels like they know something like about Korea, North Korea potentially, that they may actually have a world leader who's a woman, so North Korea. So there has to be something involved in North Korea here. Maybe this is betrayal by the Chinese government, President Xi, now this is just for entertainment purposes only. But it feels as if he knows that there's a woman in power in North Korea and not Kim Jong-un. So maybe his sister potentially. So it looks like that's what's going on here. It's weird to have that information come out. Yeah, okay. So it looked like he was upset because Kim Jong-un was his best friend or something. Or Johnny friend potentially. We do have here, um, he feels like very wrong for giving him the poison. Now, I'm not making any accusations here. It's just for entertainment purposes only. FBI and CIA. I'm just a little boy. He doesn't know anything. I'm just stupid. So don't take my word for it. Okay, so we do have here, it's, it's been a thing that's been going on. So it's not the first time something like this had happened. So he is a little bit traumatized as a kid. He sees Kim Jong, it was I think almost, strangely enough, like a mother figure. So that's probably why he took on a dictatorial role and he idolizes Kim Jong-un. Which is funny enough, is scary. All right, so... Let's look at the Russian targeting USA military arsenal. Let's take a look at that. Spears and Angel tell me about the US, the Russian targeting USA military arsenals. Why are they trying to get into the US military arsenals? Why? What the, what's the purpose there? Why are the Russians there? All 
Okay, so they kind of want peace. What's a strength? They're working on something. They're working on something. They're working on world peace, potentially. That's a weird thing to do. But, um, there's peace here. I find this really weird, but the trouble, they feel like they're a chubby, troubled country. So I'm not sure. Maybe the country's struggling. That could what it mean. It could mean that the country's struggling and they want world peace within, uh, or world dominance, so to speak, in their eyes. Like, peace in their eyes, you know what I mean? So we do have here, they kind of want levers, like, oh, we have your arsenal and, you know, your codes, and so we're going to use that against you. You better give us what we want, you know, kind of thing. And then we have here, so this is definitely Putin energy here, and we have, he's trickery, he's deceiving, he's trying to deceive um, the Russian people into thinking that, um, almost like make them think that the Russia is great, but it's really not. And he's going to end up leaving once Trump leaves. So just keep in mind that it, there's nothing really good about this guy anyway, Vladimir Putin. Okay, so how did this hack leave the United States? So basically what that means is how did it harm the United States going forward? Like how would it be well known in the textbooks? How would it be this point in time? How would it affect the U.S., an American citizen? The spirits and angels tell me about that. How would it harm the U.S. going forward? Okay. So the first thing we got was the economy. So it's going to harm the U.S. economy. Which is exactly what Russia needs in order to become a world's economic superpower. What else do we need to know about the spirit and angels? Why? How, how much would the Russian hack harm the United States? We know it's about the economy. So what else? Is, is there any other form of life? that it affects in any way that it intrigues on our own personal public life. It's all economy here. We have, you know, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of pentacles. So we're going to be analyzing what happened. Potentially, this could make a lot of sense because Trump is taking money. The country's broke, potentially. And so, you know, the country doesn't really have a lot of money, so money could be filtering in. So maybe this hack was designed to divert attention so that they can steal as much money away from the U.S. before Biden goes in. Because we do have here, the United States is going to come out of it stronger than ever. But throughout the time, it does look like they're taking money, like, oh yeah, let's, let's funnel this through before, like, you know, Biden becomes in, like, Biden gets inaugurated, that kind of thing. Okay, so we have here, we have... The U.S. economy is not that strong, so it's something very easy to take advantage of. We do have here, there is a tower moment. The tower card keeps showing up, so this tells me that we're about to have a crash eventually sometime very soon. And we do have the Page of Pentacles here as well, so we will be able to have the money. The, the gift to the U.S. economy is the new workers, the new people, the new generation. And we have here is the magician. They're going to know... These young people are going to know how to make it work. They're going to know how to make it work. So it's going to be quite quite interesting to see how that all plays out. Here again, we have, in the past, it's going to be quite a fight. They're kind of just fighting to save lives. The same system is still fighting and fighting. But in the middle, we have the world. So the world is watching. So the world is going to help the United States out. And the United States is going to come out better than this. So I think the United States... I mean, it's going to be fine. It looks like it's going to be fine. It's going to take quite a few hits, but it should be fine overall. So the next question that we want to ask is, how does it affect me and you personally? So that's a good question to ask, especially since it's about the Russian hack. Does it, do they have any uh, information potentially? Now, if this resonates with you, that means it's for you. If it doesn't, just ignore this part and then just keep moving on with the reading. Alright, okay, so spirits and angels tell me how does me and you, the me and the viewers, resonate with the idea of the Russian attacking into the U.S. Are we part of the U.S.? Is any of our information has it infiltrated in any form or way, or had altered any of the way we live? Do they have a hold of any of our information? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, this is not what I expected. I was hoping like a no. We have here, we have betrayal. 
We have the devil. We have 45 here. Right? He's fighting to stay alive. He's trying to fight. So he's clearly got some sort of information here. We have information was not stolen, but they do have something. They do got something, and it's going to come at a big loss. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. They got something on the internet. They got something on the internet that was hidden, maybe something that was private, but now they got a hold of it so it could become public. We have the sun reverse, so it's something that was hidden, and then we have the fool. So that's the thing. So if you guys ever want to camp, if you have to have anything saved on your phone, anything that's inappropriate, what I advise you to do is add in a little bit of Disney music in the background, and I can guarantee you within a few hours, Disney will have that video shut down and removed. So it's a little tip if you don't want to go through the trouble. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. And why was Chris Krebs fired after the election, the 2020 election? He was the Department of Homeland Security and a Director of Cyber Security as well. So he was the one that was protecting the U.S. Uh, election as it goes through the Internet. So there's no bad information being spilled out by, you know, the Russian saying that Trump won the election. So Spears and Angels, why was Chris Creep fired? Okay. Okay, so here it is. So we have in the past, we have, this is 45, right? 45 for first. So this is in the past. So this is going to the future. Or what happened. So he would probably be talking about his story. He was forced to make a decision, either to stay or to go, and all have his eyes blindfolded, and he chose to go, and so they have to make it appear as if he got fired. We do have here the, the women here, so here is the women, so she may be working with a woman, an investigator, because this is one of my Gina Haspel or Lakeisha Jane, but it could be another investigator as well, because the card that falls on top of it is my investigation card, and what that tells me is that this investigation investigation will be very successful. So it looks like because Trump has done what he has done, don't be surprised if information comes out and Chris Creep is involved and that he will, might be the hero within uh, the story of, within itself. Okay, so we have two more questions, don't, don't worry. Did he protect us from election fraud? Let's see. Did Chris Creep protect us from election fraud, Spirit Angel? Tell me. She's just for entertainment purposes only. Did Chris Creep... Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. He did. Because we have in the past, it was a matter of time. It was a matter of time. So perfect time was important here. We have the Democrats won. This is in the middle. This is the president. The Democrats won. The struggle was trying to make sure that the Democrats get to the inauguration. So it was a struggle, to, but he had to make sure that it was official. Until it was officially that Biden has been elected president of the United States, then he, he was fired. And so he had to make sure that the new, everything was going smoothly and about the election. So here's the election card. And so I do see, yeah. We have here as well, we do have the Republican Party reversed. The Republican Party is down. Then we have Nancy Pelosi, so Nancy Pelosi may have played a major role in this, in ensuring that he was not fired, and so that Trump wouldn't seal the election. So yes, it does feel like as if Chris Creep did play a major role, that was just another confirmation now. Then I want to know and look at how would the United, the United States hack, in terms of the Russian hack, go down in U.S. history and world history. So I want to see what effect does it have long term if, in terms of like how we'll view it in a couple of decades from now. So Spirits and Angels tell me, how will we view from a couple of decades from now the Russian hack into the United States in 2020? Okay. Okay, so the first thing I got in my ear from my spirit guide was that it was going to go down as the moment as we 
that we almost lost the United States. So we have here the Page of Pentacles. It was almost like about saving the United States. This was the last stand, the last show for the United States to stand in terms of democracy. We do have here, it was all about trying to protect the integrity of democracy and allowing voters to make the choice for president. And then we have here the Democrats. So the Democrats are on the right side, which tells me that they are the, the official winner. They are the winner here. We do have on the left, we ha then we have Biden as well. So Biden will be in office by this point. They will review the election. So we will find out more information about this later on when Biden's president you know, thereafter. This is the storyline in the textbook. And we have here, it's all about the election, protecting the United States election. Now, a lot of you guys have, that have stayed with me, that is my election card. A lot of you guys who are new here, that's my election card. And we have here, they're going to be realized that a lot of states and a lot of votes were fraudulent. But they weren't on the Democratic side, they weren't on the Republican side. And so, you know, on the bottom, it was all about trying to ensure that Biden lost. That's what the motive behind um, the Russian hack was to ensure that Biden had lost the election. That was the last straw for Trump as well. And we do have here underneath it, the thing that prevented it from happening was there were still people in government that were, had good intentions in ensuring that United States democracy was still functioning properly. And we have here in the end, Biden went by a larger margin as well. So it does appear that Biden will end up winning the Electoral College by a larger mar margin in, in the future, but not right now. So um, I do hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content such as this. Do not, uh, do not forget that I'll be going live sometime today with Kim from Interview, and I'll be doing some other readings as well with uh, Barbara, potentially, if she's feeling better. And so there will be a lot of events happening today. So stay tuned, stay active, and if you're not going to stay on, don't worry. I wish you a very, very happy new year, and see you guys in the next year. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.